Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, Big Blue Drew 97 here, coming at you with a My Hero Academia review. Or should I say, My Hero Academia Vigilantes? So yes, uh, for this video, uh, I will be doing a manga review for My Hero Academia Vigilantes, uh, manga chapter 79, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do this continuously. It's coming to an end, unfortunately, from what we're seeing in the story, but hopefully I'll be able to review it until the end. And luckily enough, it is bi-weekly, meaning that at the very least, I'll be able to make two additional videos each month uh, when the uh, chapter comes out and potentially when the spoilers come out whenever those are. So with that little caveat out of the way, let's get right into it when it comes to uh, this chapter of Vigilantes. Well, let's first talk about the cover page, which we just see Endeavor, and oh boy, oh boy, this isn't the Endeavor that we know from My Hero. The Endeavor that is trying to change. The Endeavor that is trying to repent for his actions. No, this is um, Endeavor uh, before uh, he decided to uh, become a, a decent human being, and this cover uh, kind of like amplifies how shitty he was, because you just have uh, Endeavor holding like Pop Step in her hand with fire routed and it looks like he's trying to burn her to ash, which is not far off from the truth. So yeah, we get peak Endeavor at his worst in this chapter and it is great. But before we get into that, let's start off with uh, the first page of this chapter. First get a look at uh, Soga wrapped uh, Moyuru and the crawler as they have to fight their worst enemy, the enemy of all man, the enemy of anyone that has a vehicle in any world, traffic. So yeah, unfortunately they are stuck in traffic at the moment as they're going towards where Popstep is to, you know, try to save her. But luckily enough, the crawler is able to get over the cars to basically get out of traffic, which when you really think about it, his ability even though it is creepy to an extent, it's extremely powerful and very convenient. He was able to basically skip over the cars with ease, which, you know, ties into his name of Crawler. I mean, Crawler. So yeah, while he's doing that, you have the other three guys who just like have come to the goose like, well, we just gotta wait for the traffic to, wait one second, why is there a siren going off? So yeah, uh, while they're waiting, they hear this siren going off and it just seems to get louder louder and louder and then we get confirmation for what that siren is and it's the fact that eight heroes are coming to the scene. From seeing our bumbling idiots stuck in traffic we actually cut over to where we see Compass Kid. Yeah Compass Kid. We all remember Compass Kid. I'm gonna be honest I forgot who Compass Kid was until I looked on the wiki. But we get his reveal of what his quirk is which since his name is Compass Kid, you could probably guess that it has to deal with direction. So uh, we get this scene of Compass Kid and uh, Rock as they are uh, telling people like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fine. That siren means that the heroes are coming and uh, who specifically is coming? Well, since this Endeavor is here, you can probably guess who's coming. It's, it's, his, his, it's his hero, you can see the heroes for Endeavor are coming. His sidekicks are coming. But we have uh, Compress basically like telling people that's gonna be okay, and we get a look at what his quirk is. We get the reveal that Compass Kid's quirk is Pointer, or which basically just allows him to uh, point in the direction of whatever he's looking for, whether it's a person or a place or a thing. So basically, he has the perfect power for whenever you lose your keys or your wallet. He's like, huh, where is my wallet? Oh, there it is. But I think it's, it's, it's a real like cool like ability on a lame person. But even with that case, like there are like, weird ways for you to like try to use that card and like there are like other like ways that like it can go like faulty because let's say like he's like oh I want to find this uh, missing person that is lost from like three years ago does he just point in the direction because it just shows him what direction he needs to go to it doesn't show him exactly where it is and we kind of get like a feel of how he uses it because he is compass kid he actually spins around and then you just see him like pointing in like different directions showing that oh there's a person here here and here 
So, but even though he knows like where those people are by the directions, like once he leaves that area, it's probably going to be pointing in a different direction. So it's an interesting quirk, but there are some faults to it. But either way, he and Rock go to uh, look for the people to try and evacuate them from the area, which is very important for uh, what Endeavor does in this chapter. After we see Compass Kid and Rock uh, leave to try to find these other individuals, we get a short, short conversation between Endeavor and the officer uh, Sukachi, where uh, basically uh, Sukachi tries to tell Endeavor like what's going on. He's like, so yeah, um, Endeavor, uh, we have to try to capture uh, Pop Step. Uh, Th this is going to be like a capture mission and Endeavor just like blows him off. It's like the fuck are you talking about? This is no rescue mission and he basically is like this pop queen is like causing a whole lot of destruction. She has the ability to destroy like this entire building. She holds the power of basically a small army in her hands or technically in her eye. This is going to not be a capture mission this is going to be an assault on pop step and you just see sukachi just looking like no no what no so you just have him shocked which makes sense since he does have a connection with pop step and he doesn't want to see her hurt but you just have endeavor who's like yo this villain has the power of an entire army and yeah we understand that like yeah these pop-up villains have like come up a few times over the few years but uh she has the ability to basically like take on an army so uh yeah no we're going full force i'm going to burn her to ash and if you get in my way i will burn you to ash that's basically like what endeavor kind of like implies from what he talks about uh, to sukachi after the interaction between Endeavor and Tsukachi, we finally get to see um, the uh, sidekicks of the Endeavor agencies uh, that were like calling the sirens. So from there, uh, we actually see some familiar faces. There are uh, four individuals who are like in the area helping out Endeavor for the situation. Uh, one of them is Mo Kamaji. And you may be wondering, who, who's Mo Kamaji? Uh, you may know her more as Burnin'. So yeah, uh, we get Burning, and um, I think this may be the first time we get the reveal of her name in like the ideas of My Hero Academia, as far as I'm aware of. So when I first saw it, I'm like, who is this person? Like by the name, and I'm like, oh, it's Burning. We also have another sidekick that we've seen before by the name of Keto. He is the guy that's wrapped up in bandages. Looks like he's a mummy. Um, in this chapter, we see that he possibly fights with like paper bombs and just let you know because all of these sidekicks work in the endeavor um, all of them to an extent have a fire-based quirk because that ties into another uh, hero that we have in the endeavor agency uh, the sidekick under the name of onima who is the guy that has the horns and uh, we get the uh, a fourth uh, sidekick we don't really get his name but he is a fire breathing horse He's Rapidash. He, just, he, he is a Pokemon. There's a Pokemon in My Hero Academia. Godzilla was here. Now we have Pokemon. All makes sense. So yeah, uh, we basically get the sidekicks basically giving the all clear for Endeavor and sending up these uh, fire pillars that basically indicates to Endeavor, it's like, yo, it's time for you to let loose. And now we get probably the best moment of this entire chapter, in my opinion. Because once Endeavor is given the all clear, uh, we get to see a new super move from Endeavor that we haven't seen before. And its name is, get this, it's Karmic Rays, Hellfire Storm. And in all honesty, it's just a huge tornado of fire. But weirdly enough, and something that Tsukachi mentions is that it's not just like a huge like pillar of like flaming tornado. It is a controlled pillar of a flaming tornado because if you look closely like you see like it goes through these buildings and Tsukachi makes reference to the fact that like it seems like it's out of control but Endeavor has like full control over it. He like takes advantage of the fact that there are a whole lot of like wind that blows between these buildings that like adds more fuel to the fire and if you look closely you can see like there's like a tree that like the flames pass by some of the leaves burn up but it's the leaves that like are like taken off of the tree the tree itself is not burning um the flags in the area are burning you see like a motorcycle that's burning but you don't necessarily see like the buildings catching fire you don't really even see like the glass of the windows breaking even though there are probably a whole lot of pressure with it so 
this just shows how powerful Endeavor is and how much control he has over his flames, which we have seen more of it in uh, the actual like canon of the manga, but this just adds to like how much control he actually has. The fact that he's able to control like an idea of like a force of nature with such control and precise precision to the point where like he doesn't really even do any damage to like the surrounding ever and that's something that Tsukachi mentions and the fact that he's doing this and he's just like under control like he just has like this like face of like of stoicism like it, it, he doesn't really show like any emotion you know besides anger on his face which shows how much control he has over his quirk. He uses his comic rays, hell fire, to uh, basically uh, attack Pop Step, aka Pop Queen, uh, destroying all of her explosive bees, and potentially about to set her on fire and turn her to ash. But unfortunately, he gets a call from Burn telling him to stop, and he's like, "What? What's going on?" And then he looks up to Tsukachi he's like, Tsukachi, explain this. I thought you said that this entire area was cleared off of heroes. So why is there a twig here? A twig? Oh shoot, it's Koichi! So yeah, uh, luckily enough, Koichi doesn't get caught on fire, but um, he's heading in the direction of Popsip, and Tsukachi realizes like, oh no, that's no hero. That's the vigilante uh, known across this area as the Crawler. And you see him yell to Pop Step, the crawler, Koichi, yelling out to Pop Step while Endeavor. And you just see Endeavor. And he, you don't see his face. You just see his eyes. You see the flames around him and the rest of his body is covered up. It's shaded. And he's like, a vigilante? Sounds like a villain to me. As the chapter ends with like basically Endeavor probably going to attempt not only to kill Popsta, but also to kill Koichi, because this is Endeavor before his character growth, and he is not afraid to kill people now, which, yeah, chapter ends. And let me just say, like I said, really did enjoy the fact that we got to get more uh, information of Endeavor, of how the fact that he is able to use his quirk effectively and precisely, and just getting the new name of just Karmic, Karmic? Yeah, there it is, Karmic. Karmic Riz, Hellfire Storm. That's just a really cool name. Uh, we get the reveal that uh, Compass Kid's quirk is pointing and locating stuff which in reality in the real world like that is a quirk that i would love to have just like oh no i lost my wallet oh oh it's over there i was like oh i lost this oh there it is realistically speaking very helpful quirk uh potentially what we're going to see in the next chapter is we're going to see uh for the most part probably interaction between uh koichi and pop step uh he's Probably Koichi's gonna realize that something is wrong with Pop Step and that uh, he has to save her. We're probably gonna have Rock intervene uh, in this situation because Koichi's there with Pop Step. Uh, probably he's gonna kill Compass Kid, so you know, rest in peace, Compass Kid. You will be missed. Chances are high enough, we're also going to get Endeavor uh, interacting with uh, Koichi, uh, potentially trying to kill him because that's what Endeavor does before he became the number one hero. He attempts to kill everyone for justice and as a hero, as well as, uh, like I said, we're probably going to get more interactions between uh, Pop Step and Koichi. So, overall, Overall, I thought this was a really good chapter for My Hero Vigilantes. It's a good chapter to start my uh, reviewing of this series on. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll like the video, you'll comment on it, and you'll subscribe to my channel. And hopefully be um, in contact with uh, more of my videos and more of the things that I'm going to put on this channel. So, hopefully you enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Do all that cool jazz. Goodbye. Ah.